four brand new character posters for Star Wars The Force Awakens. We got Rey, Finn, Han, and Leia, all with the whole motif of something straight up and down going in front of their faces. Mm -hmm. If Ashley Movo was here, she would be giggling or saying something right now. Um, but mm -hmm. uh, So let's take a second here before we get to the Twitter questions and talk about these posters. Now, I'm going to let you know you can start sending in Twitter questions now, by the way. How do you send in a Twitter question? Just make sure you're following us on Twitter, at Collider Video, that's us, and you can start pouring in those questions there. Be really nice to Sinead, because she's the one who's going to be deciding if your questions get on or not. So we'll get to those questions in just a minute. First, we're going to talk about these posters. Christians, let's start with you. Yeah. You saw these new posters come out. Your thoughts on them? Well, my thoughts are that we have the best fans in the world, because the second, especially for Collider Jedi Council fans as well, too, I got hit up. The second these things dropped, I think Boyega got and Ridley, the second they dropped them on their own Twitter feeds, fans were tweeting them out. Um, that being said, I really like them, and I really enjoy Ray's the most, because for me... It's best look at that staff. It's... Yeah, and look at the way that you see that staff there, too. Some would say, well, is that a lightsaber? Because it kind of looks like one a bit, but I think it's just a portion of the staff, honestly. But it still has that uh, that look. And I still... this It's tease, a lightsaber. She's holding it from the wrong end. I know, I know. <laughs> She's and, not very good. But the guy who actually does have a lightsaber with Boyega, they're really selling that he's got the lightsaber. I'm more and more think, starting to think that this is a, a ruse. I don't think he's anywhere near being a Jedi. I think that he is this kind of uh, trained stormtrooper. Love the old school blaster with Han, and then just the fact that you have Leia, and you know that she's in the position. She's kind of like the new Mon Mothma in the back with the with the grid. I love it. I think it's it's Star Wars. Yeah the the only problem I have with them, like they're too busy. Like weren't the faces <laughs> enough? No, I'm, just, I'm kidding. These these are awesome. I love these, and I love the whole artistic sense, like the 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 theme that runs throughout them of the 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 vertical line that goes one, whether it's the staff, the lightsaber, the, that or the tr that that classic Star Wars Hoth base, yeah. you know, uh, yeah. data screen in front of her. I really really enjoy it. Now, once again, as a lot of people were pointing out to me on Twitter. Why isn't there one for Luke? Well, I, I mean, J.J. kind of made that apparent. Like, he, J.J. said in that interview last week, it's for a reason that you don't see him in the trailer. Yeah. They're keeping Luke under wraps as tight as possible right now, which just kind of makes me even more excited for what we're going to see. But, I mean, Ray looks great. Boyega looks great. Han, this is the best shot of Han, I think, yet. I love that picture. That, to, that picture to me screams Han Solo more than almost any other still image I've seen from all the marketing materials so far. And I love the Leia one as well. And I love how they, <clears throat> once again, that classic Star Wars data display thing, how they kept the theme in with her as well. Although it would have been kind of badass if she had a lightsaber too. Right. How much would we be <laughs> yeah. squealing right now if that poster came up with Leia and she also had a lightsaber? But that being said, I love these things. I think they look great. What about you? Maybe it's a lenticular and it's just like halfway on. Yeah, like, right. Weird. It reminds me of Snake Plissken for some weird reason. Oh, that's right, because they're all like, all their eyes are all, you know. <laughs> but I actually, I love all four of these posters. I think they're fantastic. And I was really surprised with the Princess Leia one, because it does, I hear that like Ben Burt sound design of yeah, you know, like yeah. instantly when I see that background, that's so embedded and burned into. I think anyone who's a Star Wars fan, especially like us who saw it when we were kids and really dug it, yeah. we have all of that sound design just kind of burned into our essence. So even visually, we see something and we hear something with a visual. Right. So I think it's a great job, and I especially like that they're going with these full close-ups of all the characters. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I I I think that is a some kind of weird archaic, ar you know, I think that is a lightsaber. Like, it's going to be some triple-bladed, that's my guess. Plagueis staff? Yeah, like, maybe it's a double-bladed, some kind of freaky lightsaber, but this is a guess. Let me bring up this question here, because we're looking at these four posters, and, and I I don't know. Somebody let me know. I thought maybe somebody said there might have been one for Kylo Run as well. Mm. Um, if there is, I didn't see it, but maybe there is one. But the fact that there are four of them, let's go with these four for now, and they are... The people that we know are the key characters in this film, mm -hmm. Ray and Finn. But the other two are Han and Leia. Mm -hmm. Also, put, now couple this new information with the fact that we on yesterday's show we talked about the new international poster for Star Wars The Force Awakens. It has about seven less characters on, including no no Poe Dameron right. in, the, in that poster. No R2, no 3PO, no BB-8. Mm -hmm. oh, no, no, BB-8 was still in there. But a uh, no Phasma, but they kept Han and Leia on yeah. the... 
Is Leia going to be playing a bigger role in this film than we initially thought? Because I think initially we thought Leia will have a presence, but maybe about a total of 15 minutes of screen time throughout. The fact that she's one of the only four posters here, the fact that when the international poster came out, they took off more than half of them, but they kept Leia in there with Han. Could she be playing a bigger role in this movie than we anticipated? Yeah, I think I really think that we, they kind of let that out at celebration as well too. When when Oscar Isaac was talking about how he was sent on a mission, he said certain queen, but in the from everything I've heard so far, he she wasn't queen yet. Did he say queen or royalty? I can't. I thought he said queen, but you, you might, might be right. Yeah, you, you might one, be right too. One of us, yeah. one of yeah. us is right. Um, We're both wrong. Yeah. Tweet <laughs> us in and let it us was, know who is wrong. It was one of the right. two. But anyway, she. I think that she's kind of furthering whatever mission it is. I also think she's going to be the key element is trying to find Luke. I think she's leading it. I think she's sending people. Interesting. Um, I, that's that's mm. personally. I, that's nothing that I've heard. It's just a guess. But I think that she's going to be a, a crucial part to the story for sure. I'm really excited to find out where Luke is. It's kind of a bummer. Why do you that leave? that Why is do you... the big question, now, yeah. though, right? And I'm hoping it's not just that one shot, like you'll get that pan up with him with the lightsaber and then to be continued. You know, I think we're going to get some flavor with Luke Skywalker. That's what I, I'm pretty sure he'll be like a big part of the last third of the film. Yeah, the third so, act. Yeah. yeah, the yeah. third act. So I'm, I'm, I like how all the mystery is, is, is there within the way that they're rolling out the posters, the way they rolled out the trailers. We're all on the same, like, how come Luke's not in there? They're all saying, like, yeah, Han's like, where's Luke? Everyone's like, where's Luke? Right. So. And the thing is, you know how hard it is to get certain Kylo Ren dolls and stuff now, too? It is going to be impossible to get the Luke Skywalker no, dolls. Oh, forget about it. Because now Just we haven't seen it. Oh, the second it hits, you better be there. The line for just to get him. You know, remember when Force Friday came and they put out all the toys, and then after that, the guys from Lucasfilm said, hey, just so you know, all the toys we put out, only from the first act of the film. Yeah. I'm starting to get the feeling, now, this is just speculation on my part, this isn't based on anything, I'm getting the feeling that everything we have seen from the trailers and those the little teases, I'm starting to get the feeling that Almost everything we've seen so far is from the first act of the film. I say a lot of it, but not that not that Kylo Ren in the uh, in, in the starter the, story. In, no, in the snow when he's fighting. Boyega. Oh, in the snow. I think right. that's much. I think that's much later yeah, on. Yeah, you're film. probably but right. Most of hopefully, it, I agree it's with not you. the late. Hopefully, that's not the last act of the film or right. the last thing in the film. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.